Hello everyone, thank you for your attention. This is the last video of this presentation series. In this video, I'm gonna propose a new method to estimate the traffic state by autonomous vehicles. After several years of development, the well-known Waymo car project has gained significant momentum and has driven over 16 million kilometers as of 2018. Within the next decade, it is possible that autonomous vehicles will be on the market and on public roads. Autonomous vehicles' potential in supplying accurate and detailed traffic data then attracts lots of attention. This study aims to explore the possibility of using autonomous vehicle data as a reliable, economical, and wide cover coverage alternative to existing methods. In autonomous vehicle probes, at present, LiDAR is assumed to be the primary data collection method with a reasonable radius of 100 meters over all 360 degrees. This system works by rapidly rotating an array of lasers which reflects off surrounding objects. It builds up information about the surrounding environment as a series of dynamic points. For example, it measures the distance to target vehicles by calculating how far the laser travels to and reflects back. For speed measurements, LiDAR sends out two laser pulses simultaneously and compares the change in distance after receiving the pulses. The speed is then can be calculated by the change in distance divided by time between two pauses. LiDAR counts the number of vehicles by capturing the point cloud and extracting moving vehicles within its detection range. For traffic state estimation, there exist two traditional methods, static array and moving point. Static array collects an array of data relating to multiple surrounding vehicles from a static location. And moving point observations are most commonly seen as floating car data, where point data is continuously collected by a moving probe. However, that data only relates to the prob probe itself, not the surrounding traffic. We propose a new method called moving array, which aims to collect data relating to multiple surrounding vehicles. When autonomous vehicle probes collect data as in flow, they may encounter the shock wave. To explain shock wave in heterogeneous traffic conditions, we introduce the e equilibrium curve of the fundamental diagram for analysis. In a QK plot, the wave speed represents the slope of the shock wave between two states. In, in free flow conditions, due to the heterogeneous conditions, vehicles often platoon rather than distribute uniformly. Therefore, mean global densities over space could be impacted so that a shock wave occurs between two different states of free flow conditions. We then consider three different scenarios as simulation studies, which are operated in NetOgo. The first scenario is one single probe in one directional pipeline. 
The second scenario is multiple probes in one directional pipeline. And the third scenario is one single probe in two directional pipeline. If there is only one single probe collecting data in one directional pipeline, the trend of estimation errors could be like a double hump curve. At the beginning, the errors are high because the single probe is highly likely to be within a platoon and observe the locally high density. Then it reaches the point of maximum flow. Traffic conditions are relatively smooth with nearly no shock waves. For road coverage higher than 20%, it was observed st stop and go waves had started occurring in the traffic and then caused lower flow rates. When the flow rate is lowered, the accuracy benefits associated with high flow rates are removed. The stochasticity city of the road can conditions peaks at around 40 to 50 percent road coverage, but then sharply decreased as conditions approach jam density. We also look at the case with multiple probes in one directional pipeline. It is found an increased number of probes reduces the absolute error associated with density, speed, and flow measurement, with an optimum of 10 probes. However, the reductions in error are quite small due to the superimposed bias of multiple probes. The small errors reductions, even when there are a large number of probes, point to the considerable structure error associated with moving array probes. This structure error is mainly ident identified as common observation bias when most of the vehicles are probes. Because the multiple probes drive in the same direction, they share the similar observation bias so that the bias cannot be eliminated progressively. We then change the case from one directional pipeline to two directional pipeline. In this scenario, only one single probe is considered. It was learned that the effects of con current traffic conditions on the observation of oncoming are appreciable but secondary. It is the case that high flow in concurrent traffic is broadly associated with a lower error in the measurement of oncoming traffic. Further investigation can consider alternative geometric configurations beyond the pipeline, including intersections and surrounding infra infrastructures. Most scenarios, for instance, multiple probes in a two-directional pipeline and more realistic traffic conditions may yield additional insights. Overall, it is hoped that this investigation has shown the potential and limitations of autonomous vehicles used as moving area traffic probes, which is worthy of further research. Well, accuracy limitations were observed that differ from other tra traditional data collection methods. We believe these are correctable with appropriate calibration methods. Thank you for watching this presentation series and hope to see you again.